Well guys, this trailer doesn't look like much, but it's going to be a little project we started. Originally we were going to put one of the mills on this trailer. It's an old camping trailer. But then we decided to turn it into a log hauler. Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Where's my mic? It's over there. Two brothers outdoors. Two, I can't, I don't have a mic. I don't have a mic, sorry. Two brothers outdoors. Alright guys, so we bought this trailer. It's an old camping trailer. The uh, camper itself is long gone, yep. but the frame was great. We bought it and put a deck on it, and originally we were going to put one of our sawmills on it to make it portable. Then we got to thinking about portable mill, yeah, not so much. have to put the equipment with it to get the logs up on the deck and all that stuff, and it's like, you know what, I don't think portable is going to be for us. Yes. We'll pass, but we do have customers that have logs, and they'd like us to come pick up those logs. So we're going to build this trailer to pick up logs. We've already put a winch on it. We've got a deck on it. And we've got an arch on the back over here. And as soon as we get the cable strung on this, we're going to take it down to one of those logs down there in the back and load a log up on the trailer and see how it works. All right. Let's get this cable strung and then we can give her a rip. I think it's going to turn out pretty cool myself. Time will tell. If you notice behind me, got a bluebird house sitting here. We got two more over there. We got bluebirds coming into them. Wife is absolutely thrilled. I'm happy too because it makes me feel like I didn't build the houses for nothing. That is warm. We gotta put I just took this eye bolt and welded the eye of it shut with the MIG welder, the Choosy MIG welder, which absolutely works fantastic. What you can see on our uh, if on you our look videos. Yeah, if you look description. If you look in our description you'll see a link to those, right? All right, so we're going to put the eye bolt here. Eye bolt's still a little bit warm from, from the shake and bake. All right, let me go get a wrench. We'll tighten that up. Hey, what? This ash is all up pretty good. Yeah, we redecked it last summer with the ash. Was it last summer or summer before? Summer, summer before. before. Yeah, two summers ago. The, uh, we really haven't figured what we wanted to do with the trailer yet. We thought about hauling logs with it, and that's why we, we put started. this. We, 
put this arch on there. And then last summer we got extremely busy. So we didn't put the arch on there. I mean, we put the arch on there, but we didn't continue on with it. All One right. of our many projects. Grab this arch right here. Let's pick it up. Right there, man. All right, what we got to do is going to have to straighten this cable out and wind it up, and then we'll hook it up on there. All right, that should stand right there on its own for now. Just take this and stretch it out so I can wind it up. How far too far, like to the pond? Yeah, when you get to the pond. All right. Alright, just hold on to it. Alright, this may go up when I stand on it. Probably will. <sighs> All right, let me have this. Right. Yeah, I need you to stand between me and the winch and hold it. Hold tension on it. Just use your fingers, it's fine. Got it? That's a spiffy idea. I think it worked out great. Pivot and everything. All right, let's pull it. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Might have to loosen those up a little bit so it goes up and down a little easier. I think it'll get loose as we use loose it. as we use it because it was pretty loose when we first did it. All right. Trailer down. So you want to explain to them how this works? We'll show them how it works in just a second. I'll hook the tractor up to it and we'll take it down to a log. So the front of the log will be like right here? Right, we'll back it up to the log. So now we gotta get another piece of chain for this, right? Yeah, hang on just a second. I want to test it out. I have to make a I have to make a hook too to pull it through the through the log under the log like you do on the I mean, uh, four wheelers. I got an extra one on my log. All right, Jeremy. Yep, I heard you. Stick your foot in that hole. Hold on. Uh oh, is that lock? It's got a break on it. Picking me up? I'm gonna take you up. I'm gonna stand on the lower. Ready? I'll try. Stand on it. Watch it pull me up. Woohoo! Alright, let me down. I feel like an eight. <laughs> this is a young man's game. Not really. All right. All right. Throw the chain on the back. All right, guys. We're going to take this down, clean all the leaves off of it, hook it up to log, and give it a try. That shovel, flat shovel.
One more. Good. Come up. There you go. See if you can lock it. <laughs> Raise it up a little bit. There we go. Hey, your blade's hitting. Huh? Your blade's hitting. No, oh, it's not. It just did right back there. Don't tell me it didn't. I didn't. Yeah, now the back of it's hitting. Now it's hitting. Raise her up. Throw <laughs> it in that ditch. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Is that a wet mess back here? Which one you want to grab? We'll grab the maple at the end. This one? Yeah. So why are you way over there? Gotta clean the trailer off first. Oh. Alright guys, we have not tried this out at all. This is going to be a first time try out. Tim has hooked the chain around the end of the log. What we're going to do is get this down to a certain point, probably right about there. Perfect. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. Just be careful that tongue don't pop up. Now, if this works... Uh-oh. <laughs> That's all right. I'm gonna stand back. That cable sounds like it's getting pretty tight. <laughs> pretty taut. Not that hard. It's working. This handle's got a long stroke on it. I know that. Now, if this was hooked to the back of the truck, it wouldn't be standing up like this. Although Obviously. we might want it to stand up like that. Just be careful, it's going to come slamming down. It comes forward. Careful. It's gotten real easy now. Careful. <laughs> Woo! Told ya. Boy, that was noisy. <laughs> Told ya, saw that coming. Okay. Alright. So. Gotta tighten this up. Gotta unhook the chain. 
down, stand this back up. All right, I'll let it down. What a mucky mess up. All right. I cannot get that brake unlocked. Uh oh. Now what? It's alright. Alright. So I have to wrap it around again, right? Um, I think you might have enough chain to do what we need to do. What's that? Just wrap it once and hook around the, around the very end, right? Yeah, I think the very end would probably be the way to do it. This will work perfect right here. All right. Yeah, that's a lot easier there. What'd you do? I uh, stuck a piece of metal in there to hit the brake. All right, tighten that chain up a little bit more. That should do it, right there. Oh, come on down. Might as well hook to the other chain. Make a complete loop. All right, got it? Correct. All right, log, at this point, you're supposed to start sliding. You can give it a shove. There we go. Gotta get it over that lip. Yeah, lock it like that. It'll get over the lip. There you go. And it's on. Well. There it is, centered right over the axle. Yeah. So probably three logs that size we can get on here. Easily three logs, maybe even five. The original trailer weighed 8,000 pounds. That worked out pretty good. I'm wondering, next time we do it, we hook it to the center of the log. Or a little further back here. Well, what do you, what do my you think? only concern is, is that it hit the deck pretty hard when this came forward. You yeah, they can make any shocks or something like right here to keep that from going doing that. Well, that's what I was thinking. If we hook it to the center of the log, it might not do that so hard. Not center, but you know what I'm saying. Further back from the front. Yep. We could always change position too. Once we get the log over it, we can set it down. Yep. And then rehook the chain. I actually just picked this up back and back under it, couldn't we? Couldn't we? What's that? <laughs> picked that up, the lot that put it on the front of the trailer, picked the back of the log up and back the trailer up under it. Can we do that? Um that or we get it to a pivot point. And unhook the cable and just wrap the cable around the log and drag it on. Well, the only thing I was thinking is like if it's way back, like you know, like how you had the front end here. Yeah. And we got this way back with the back side of the log, the mid mid side of the log. <clears throat> just pick this up enough to where the log is will slide, then you should be able to back the trailer up and you won't have this slamming down. Right. Because the log will be already level with the trailer. Even though this comes back, it won't be bam. Well, I'm wondering too, the front of the trailer picked up because we're hooked to the, well, the uh, hydraulics on the tractor and it picked, it picked the three point hitch right up in the air. I'm wondering if the trailer was not standing up. In other words, if it was hooked to the truck instead of the tractor, 
Yeah, I don't think the trailer would stand up like that, and the log may not slam down either. Well, this was the first time. This was the first first it load. It works. It worked. We got enough room for two more logs this size on either side, or maybe able to get five on there because we can drag them up over the other. If we have three, we can. Well, depend on what the length they are. How long is this trailer? Twenty feet. See, uh, oh no, that's eight, maybe twelve. Let's look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I have a tape measure in my feet. Seven. Sixteen. Sixteen feet. So we can get, feasibly get sixteen footers on here. That might be the way to go if we go pick them up instead of cutting them eight six. Right. Come like sixteen three or sixteen four, and then slide them on that way. Correct. And that way you'll have the whole everything be on the center axle and it won't be tilty. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Well, the uh, arch works great for getting it up in the air and getting it on the trailer. I think if we hooked it a little further back from the front, I don't think it would have slammed down that hard. I don't think if the trailer was, I think if the trailer was level too, it wouldn't have slammed down that hard either because the log had too far to fall. Well, as we play with it, we'll figure it out. But our ash decking is six quarter thick. It's good and solid ash. We'll park this in the sun, give it a chance to dry out. We've had it parked back in the weeds over here. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to work out well, fine. Pull that log over. I mean, put the trailer over there so it'll dry. Leave the log on it. We bring it over to my mill this Saturday. Okay. So I've got to park it right, there. right there in the field somewhere. Yeah, that's fine. And just leave the log on there, and then we can um, bring it over to the mill tomorrow or Saturday and cut it up. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. See how how hard it'll be to unload it. And we can actually unload it with log arches. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> but I think it's going to work just fine. I think so too. All right, guys, we're going to park this thing. Leave the log on it. Saturday, we'll take the log over to Tim's mill and uh, saw it up. It's a nice maple log. Got a lot of uh, a lot of twists and turns in it, so it ought to be pretty good character in it. We'll see what happens. I know the trailer will hold the weight. That's not a problem. Take at least five of these logs to make 8,000 pounds. We wouldn't load it up that high anyway. All right, guys, we're going to park this thing, and then uh, Saturday we'll resume taking it over to the mill. That's why I'm not sitting on it. All right, guys, so the arch works as far as picking the log up and putting it on the trailer. We got a... Uh, we got to get our our uh, technique down. Technique down, Pat, but it's going to work. Didn't take much at all to pick up this log. I don't know how much it weighs, but I'll uh, scale it real quick, and I can tell you. Before the end of the video, I will tell you how much this log weighs. All right, guys. This is our 820 pounds. All right. We'll hold him to that, 820 pounds. <laughs> it's like 1,200. So... This is our uh, log hauling trailer with a self-loading log arch and the winch. We can put an electric winch on it if we have to. I have one. Yep. Battery operated. Harbor Freight got them too for $69. <laughs> I've got one on a plate ready to go. So at any rate, if we end up moving a lot of logs and we put an electric winch on it, then we'll do that. But it works. Our idea worked, and you got the log up there pretty quick, especially for the first time. Yep. I'm happy with it. So we'll let the trailer sit out here in the sun with the log on it and dry out. Poor thing's been sitting back in the bushes for the whole winter. Except it's supposed to be raining the rest of the week. Well, that's good. It'll wash the mud off the uh, <laughs> deck. <laughs> it's already starting to dry out. Look Spring. at the wood getting white. Spring, it's rain. All right, guys, thanks for coming along with us. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit that subscription button right there. Right here. Right here.
notifications bell. You don't want to miss any of our future videos. And that thumbs up right there. Okay? All right, guys. So until the next one, we will catch you later. Next one's going to be Saturday. Taking log off the trailer. It will be on video. Yep. All right, guys. Bye-bye now. Yeah. <laughs>